Alright, what's good people? My name is The 12th Man, and if you are watching this video right now, that means that Thunder has uploaded me to Thunderstruck Gaming for the second time. And before I get into the co commentary topic, I just want to say thank you to Thunder for uploading me again. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate the fact that bigger YouTubers like yourself give smaller channels like me the opportunity to gain some exposure so yeah i really do appreciate that and yeah let's go ahead and get into the commentary topic of today's video so before i start rambling on in this commentary i just want to ask you guys this question when do you think people will start looking at video games as more as an art form basically what i'm trying to ask is when do you think people will start looking at video games as a visual art form rather than just a toy now there are two main reasons why i wanted to make this commentary for tsg today one is because I wanted to share this thought with you guys because this is obviously a larger audience and two I wanted to make this commentary due to some recent events that have happened a few days ago if you guys really haven't been keeping up with a lot of video game news you should know that Target in Australia removed Grand Theft Auto 5 from all of their store shelves due to a bunch of feminists or what I like to call feminazis because they were mad that the game was offensive towards women now i will say this i'm pretty sure that these feminazis do not know the concept behind grand theft auto you see guys gta is a satire on our modern day culture basically it's a game that is not supposed to be taken seriously yes there are a lot of real life controversial topics in there but what rockstar does is they take all of those controversial topics throw it in their game and make it a social commentary on whether or not those things should exist in the real life you see what i'm saying so yes i really do not think these people know the concept behind gta and the thing that really gets me mad is the fact that yes this game does demoralize women but what about all the other books that demoralize women? What about all the movies that demoralize women? What about all the TV shows and whatnot that demoralize women? Why don't they get into an uproar about that? But no, they have to come at the video games. I am really, really, really tired of people coming at video games, not because of their content, but because they're games. You see, me, I think video games should be treated as a visual art, just like television shows, just like movies, and just like books. Video games should be in the same category as all that other stuff. I mean, just think about all of the controversial topics that filmmakers have put in their movies. Racism, sexism, war, hatred think of all of the controversial topics that are in movies but you see the thing is is that when those topics are in those movies normally those movies are critically acclaimed people are saying that these are some of the greatest movies of all time that deal with very controversial topics the same can be applied with books and tv shows all of these entertainment mediums except video games can step out of the box and push the envelope and try to talk about something daring but apparently video games can't now i know a lot of you guys probably won't remember this but a few years ago there was a developer by the name of atomic games who were getting ready to make a game based on one of the most deadliest battles in Iraq called Fallujah. The game was going to be called Six Days of Fallujah. Now they did get a publisher, Konami was supposed to be publishing the game. But when the game was announced, a lot of people were up in arms, there was a lot of backlash. Therefore, Konami backed out and Atomic Games had no publisher for the game. Therefore, they went out of business a few years later. Now, I'm not saying the backlash was dumb because, yes, this was a very controversial game considering the fact that the battle in Fallujah was a more recent event and both sides, people who wanted the game to come out and people who didn't want the game to come out had some pretty valid arguments and keep in mind that the people at atomic wanted to make this game because soldiers who fought in fallujah came to them and said that they wanted people to see what it was like fighting in fallujah however the people who didn't want the game to come out said that if atomic were to release this game it would have been disrespectful to the people who lost their lives in the battle which is a very valid point and i do understand where those people are coming from however imagine if this was a movie do you think people will be up in arms if six days of fallujah was a movie 
or do you think people would be up in arms if this battle was written into a book you see what i'm trying to stress in this commentary is that all of these arguments about video games like you know video games cause this video games does that all of these arguments need to stop video games are just like movies and tv shows you can't ban a video game because they demoralize women if a video game is banned because they demoralize women then a movie or a book should be banned the same way because they also demoralize women so that's basically it with this commentary so i hope you guys enjoyed and please let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this do you think video games should be treated as an art form and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy if you did make sure you leave a like for me and thunderstruck gaming thunder thank you once again for giving me this opportunity uh yeah if you like this video want to check out my channel go ahead and check it out subscribe if you haven't already and yeah i'll catch you guys on the flip thanks for watching peace